Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you could give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about industrial communication radios. More specifically, we want to talk about serial and ethernet radios and try to understand what the differences are between these two very common radio types. We will discuss some of the main differences that exist between serial and ethernet radios, as well as some of the advantages and disadvantages to using either radio. We will also discuss scenario, scenarios where it might make sense to use one type of radio versus the other, and also talk about some of the things that you might want to consider when selecting radios for your specific application. As always, the information shared in this video is intended to provide only a basic overview of this topic and should never take the place of proper electrical instruction. With that being said, let's take a closer look at both serial and ethernet radios and learn more about how they work and why we might use one or the other. In order to understand some of the main differences between these two types of radios, it can help to understand some, of, some basic information about the various communication protocols that are used today and have been used in the past. There are many different protocols that can be used depending on the application, time frame the hardware may have been installed, existing hardware that is already in place, and many other factors. What is important to understand is that most of these protocols fall into two generic families, either serial-based protocols or ethernet-based protocols. While this is not an official term for these family of protocols, it's widely accepted that older protocols typically utilize serial data lines. Some examples of these protocols would be Modbus RTU, RS-232 and RS-485, as well as Profibus, and many others. And Ethernet-based protocols utilize more modern Ethernet-style networks. Examples of these protocols would be Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, Profinet, and many others. The differences that exist in these protocols has a lot to do with data transmission speeds. The serial-based protocols have a much more limited data transmission capacity. Depending on the specific protocol that is used, the capacity can vary widely. On the other hand, Ethernet-based protocols have much faster data transmission capabilities. Because of this fact, it is becoming standard procedure to use Ethernet-based protocols, and therefore, we are finding that the use of Ethernet-based radios are also much more common. However, there are still a lot of serial radios in use today for one reason or another. One big advantage to using serial-based radios is that they do not require a connection strength that is as strong as Ethernet-based radios. Because of this fact, it can sometimes be beneficial to use serial radios in situations where your radio connection may be limited because of things like physical obstructions, long distances, or other. A few things to keep in mind when using serial radios are, first, to make sure that the data you need to communicate over that radio network can be transmitted adequately. With more limited data transmission speeds, this should always be taken into consideration. Also, pay attention to the network requirements of your systems. You may need to use some type of serial to ethernet converter, especially if the rest of your network is utilizing the ethernet-based protocols. In most cases these days, Ethernet radios are much more common, and the cost is about the same as serial radios, and in some cases can even be less expensive because they are so widely available. By understanding the differences between these two types of radios, you will be better equipped to select the radio that will work best for your specific application. Whether using serial or Ethernet, you can be confident in knowing that it will function exactly as you expect it to. For a full line of serial and ethernet radios, as well as thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also don't forget, like and subscribe.